we have given geometric progression and we have to find the seventh term of our geometric progression. So to find the seventh term of geometric progression, we will use formula for the n term of geometric progression. A n is equal a1 times r to power n minus 1. The power is always 1 less than the number of term. So this is our formula. We have given here first term, second and third term. So let me write this. This is a1 is equal 12. a2 is equal negative 4. a3 is equal 4 over 3. We have to find the seventh term. So n is equal 7. What else? Because this is geometric progression. So every term after first, how we find? We just multiply the first term by the common ratio, the common factor r, and we have the second. The second we multiply the common factor r, and we have the third, and so on. So to find this r, this constant number, we have to take two consecutive terms and divide the second one by the first one. Why? Because to get this terms of geometric progression, we multiply every term to get next by this constant number. So to have this constant number, we have to use division. So R is equal A2 over A1 or you can use a3 and a2, so it will be a3 over a2. So let's take this to first consecutive terms because we have whole numbers, so it will be negative 4 divided by 12, so this is equal, negative over positive, so it will be negative 4 and 12, we can reduce by 4, so it will be 1 and 3. So we have common ratio that this is negative 1 third. What next? When we have r, we have first term, we can use this formula, n is 7, and we will calculate the 7 term of our geometric progression. So a7 is equal let me copy this a1 times r to power 7 minus 1 is 6. The power of r is always 1 less than, than the number of term. So a7 is equal a1 is 12 times r is negative 1 third to power 6. So this is equal the power is even, so negative sign will reduce, so we have 12 times 1 third to power 6. What else? Because we have 12 here, we have 3 in the denominator, so I will rewrite 1 third to 6 power, that this is, I will copy 12, 1 third to 1st power times 1 third to 5th power. Multiplication, the same base, so we copy the base and we add exponent 1 plus 5 is 6, I didn't change anything, but now, okay, that this is equal, 12 times 1 third, 1 third to 1st power is 1 third, times 1 third to 5th power, so this is equal, 12 and 3 you can reduce, so we have 4 times 1 third to 5th power, you can leave like this, or you can rewrite that this is 4 times 1 to 5th power over 3 to 5th power. So this is equal 4 times 1 to 5th power is still 1 over 3 to 5th power. So this is equal 4 times 1 is 4 over 3 to 5th power. You can use calculator and 4 we copy over 3 to power 5, so this is equal to 4, 3. This is my solution.